And we've been joined by Coach Curtis Johnson from Tulane. Uh, Green Wave is 1-4 overall, 0-1 in the American Athletic Conference. Uh, Tulane had an open week last weekend in action this Saturday against UConn at Yulman Stadium. That will be an 8 p.m. Eastern time start. The game will be televised on ESPN News. Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. If you'd take a minute to tell us uh, just about how your open week went as you prepare for the uh, the home uh, conference home opener against uh, UConn, please. You know, we had a much much needed open week. We had some guys injured. We're starting to come back. <clears throat> I expect them to be in practice tomorrow. Uh, it was good to watch some of the younger kids perform in open week because some of those guys will be playing next week against UConn on Saturday because some of those young kids really, really did a good open week. And then we got a chance to catch up on academics a little bit. This is a very difficult school. Take questions for Coach Johnson, please. Star one on your telephone to join the queue. The operator will introduce you. And we can go ahead with the first question, please. And we'll go to Jim Fuller with New Haven Register. Uh, yes, Coach. Can you were you surprised at the amount of freshmen that you played this year, and, and how, how well have they played for you? Well, I'm not really surprised that we played, and we knew this would be a little bit of a down year. We end up last year, you know, we had a pretty decent team. We went to a bowl game, and we had seven guys get opportunities to play in the NFL. You know, five of them are stick in some way, shape, or form. So we knew there would be some holes, and we had to fill them with some younger kids. So, and a little, not, not really surprised, a little bit disappointed because we hadn't gotten wins. We see the improvement. We see the direction of the program. We have some athletic young kids, but, you know, the best thing about freshmen, they become sophomores, and they're young, and they're very inexperienced. Your running backs obviously had a couple of big plays. UConn's got a running back that just had a 74-yard touchdown. What are your thoughts on, on both those guys, on, on your running back and also Newsom from UConn? UConn has, got, has a great running back. I, you know, look, you watch him. Not only is he he's, he's a good player, he's physical. Both of those backs are very, very physical. They're fast kids. You know, I, I, look, I'd like to have him or Max on, on my team, but, but they're very, very good players. Our, our backs are good backs, too. But, again, you know, our kids are very, very young kids, and, you know, we, we just, we just you know, we're we glad that they're playing. We wish we had some older kids, but, you know, but but hey, I I really like I really like the backs. I like the quarterback also. Right, thank you. We'll go to Paul Doyle with Hartford Current. Coach, can you talk a little bit about your quarterback situation and um, we'll be starting this week? Well, as of right now, Tanner didn't practice. I, tomorrow we'll know more about him. He threw the ball a little bit on uh, yesterday, but he didn't practice any yesterday. If he can go tomorrow and Wednesday or Wednesday, I think he'll be ready to start. If not, we'll start Devin or Nick, whichever guy, one of those guys you know, we decide on. And I, how did you sort of approach your off week um, in terms of practicing? And did the guys sort of need a, uh, you know, a little stretch here to, to clear their mind? Yeah, you know what we did. We practiced on on Tuesday and Wednesday, and again academically, the school's very challenging. They had Thursday, Friday, Saturday off, and we came back on Sunday, and we did a lot of stuff against each other. You know, just just figuring out who's who, who's you know who's doing what. We had a couple injuries, and in, you know Zach Harris's injury. He's out. He's out. Probably he's out for the year. He just had knee surgery. We had a couple other big knickknacks here and there. So we wanted those guys to heal up, and then we also wanted you know wanted to see some younger kids. And finally, can you just talk a little bit about what this conference, I guess, means to your program going forward and, you know, overall? You know, this is, I think this is a great conference. You know, I think this is one of the power conferences. You look at what UConn does in basketball year in, year out, men and women's basketball. I think their football team's a really good team. You look at the, some of the schools, what East Carolina doing, and, you know, Central Florida did it last year. It's just a great conference throughout. You know, and then it spans from Oklahoma all the way up to, to, to where you guys are, to Connecticut, and goes to Florida, it goes to Ohio. Great, 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 great exposure, great television. This is a fantastic conference. I love it. Okay, well, thank you, Coach. Thank you. Coach, we thank you for your time today. We look forward to talking to you again next Monday. Thank you.